What's going on ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys are having a great day as usual So for this video guys, I'm going to be reacting to another episode of Transformers Prime You already know what it is, I'm back baby Episode 17, hit the like button But enough talking guys, let's jump right into the video We'll have a little discussion after Let's go Suppression fire only. We take this one alive. <laughs> Tight formation. Arachnid, that's who they're trying to take down. Don't tell me Mech never considered that an open channel distress signal from an injured Decepticon might be a trap. I'll bear that in mind next time. <laughs> next time? Decepticon radio chatters all abuzz about the workover you gave poor breakdown. As an ex-con myself, I really should eviscerate you for that. But an old acquaintance and her nasty little human destroyed my ship and skinned my knee. I mean to pay them back in kind. Both of them. You see, I may get in and out of places most Decepticons can't, but I'm still learning to navigate this planet. What's in it for Mech? I'll let you live. And since you came to collect a Transformer, was it? I'll throw in whatever's left of RC after I've broken her. Damn. Thanks for walking me home, Jack. You're a real gentleman. I don't want you revved up before bedtime. Mom's a light sleeper, and I don't think that she'd understand about... Understand what, Jack? You breaking curfew for the third time this month? Mom. Or why your boss called about you missing another shift at work? Or maybe the email I received from your art history teacher who's concerned that you've been falling asleep in class. Well, two words, Mom. Art and history. Tell me the rumors aren't true, Jack. Tell me you're not racing that motorcycle. No, no, wait, wait, where did you hear that? I... Small town. People talk. I work in an emergency room, Jack. I've seen what can happen. So please, tell me you haven't fallen in with a bad crowd. What? No, 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 my friends are the good crowd. Seriously good. I let you have that bike because you convinced me you were mature enough to handle it. But I think you may need a gentle reminder. Message received, Mom. Loud and clear. I'm, no. I'm glad we had this talk. I meant, let's see if a few weeks without the distraction of your motorcycle will do the trick. But... No buts. You're grounded from everything but school and work. And if you want to take a bike to either, you'll pedal. Uh. 
serious face, Jack. If I see that motorcycle out of the garage... Now, go wash up and get some sleep. I love you. I'll miss you while you're grounded. Well, don't worry, R.C. I'll visit you here every day. Uh, Jack? I won't be here. Sitting on my fat tires for two weeks is not an option. No, 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 you saw Mom's serious face. Look, R.C., I feel badly enough that I've had to lie to her all this time, but if you're not here, she's gonna think that I'm blowing her off. Deep breaths, Jack. Your mom works late nights. I'll try to be back in the garage before she gets home, but no promises. Hey, Ma. Jack, I hope you're not planning to eat takeout tonight. I took my break early so I could cook my grounded son a wholesome dinner. Uh, organic tofu. Awesome. Hey, uh, car beats 10 speed. I'll, uh, I'll be home soon. Love you. Bye. Pick up, pick up, pick up. RC, uh, you wouldn't be in the garage right now. Negative, Jack. Can we talk about this later? No, Mom's on her way home. If you don't race back there right now, I will be grounded for life. And Mom will make me sell you for parts. B, can you handle it? <laughs> Where are we? I want to see I that. Bridge. believe you disobeyed me. Where is the motorcycle? Uh... What do you mean? It, she's right where I left her. Uh... Did you get one of your crew to sneak it in? Or did you just walk it up again? <sighs> okay, Mom. Do you, you really want to know? Fasten your seatbelt. My motorcycle is a sentient robotic organism from a distant planet. Yeah, Part of a team tell stationed her. here on Earth fighting a secret war. And I spend most of my time after school hanging with her crew. Jack. And the coolest thing, this isn't even her actual form. She's really a giant robot who can transform into a vehicle. Enough, Jack. It's okay, RC. Show yourself. She's, she's shy. Uh, oh. see, really, no more hiding, no more lies. No more lies. Oh, come on, roll out already. So, um, the bad crowd you've been hanging out with is a science fiction club? I have to get back to work. We will continue this when I get home. Thanks for the support, partner. Don't blame me. Remember. I know, I know. You don't exist. Your ship's black box sustained serious damage in the explosion, but our software was able to reconstruct a few frames from the security feed. That's him. My Jack. Our facial recognition algorithm will send Jack's image across the web. Another kind of web. Ah. The mother load. Government database? Social networking page. Everything worth knowing about Jack Darby is right here. Age 16, Jasper, Nevada. Mother, June Darby, a nurse. Maybe I'm being too hard on Jack, but he lied. And the only way he's gonna learn is if I stick to my... <gasps> <laughs> R.C., is Mom home yet? I didn't see her car. Don't know. I just bridged from base to beat her here. Oh, and there's a package for you.
Hello, Jack. Silas. What is it? Wh what's going on? Mech. They know where I live? We know things about your family that even you don't know. For example, do you know where your mother is? What did you... Understand, Jack, we have no intention of hurting her. In fact, we'd like to reunite the two of you as soon as possible. I just need you and RC to follow the GPS coordinates programmed into this communicator. They'll lead you to the temporary facility I've set up. Ratchet. <laughs> RC? Did I not mention our communicator scrambles the signal and your brains? Any break in communication or attempt to reach the other Autobots and Miss Darby? Well, I wouldn't want to feel responsible for the outcome. Jesus. If anything happens to her because of my connection to all this... I... Jack, Mech is only interested in me. Once they get what they want, they'll let your mom go. That's not exactly reassuring. Your family, too. So, what's the plan? The usual. <laughs> Mom? Looking for June? She's hanging around here somewhere. Arachnid. What's she doing here? Help them, please. They're human like you. You can't let Arachnid... A few human lives are a small price to pay for a miracle of science like yourself. R.C. You and I will have a private session later. Promise. Gentlemen. I'm still learning about humankind, but one thing is clear to me, Jack. You people care deeply about family. Therefore, the sweetest revenge I could possibly devise would be to make you watch as I take your family apart. If you hurt my mother, I... You remember how much I enjoy sport, don't you, Jack? So I'll give you the opportunity to save your mother. I've stashed her close by. If you can rescue her before the stroke of 12, I will let both of you go unharmed. Deal? And if I can't? What do you think? Please, don't let her do this. You can let us go. We won't tell anyone. Enough. Yes, Jack. Man up already. Six minutes. Mom? Mom! Now, I know we promised the Spider-Bot that she would have first crack at you, but something tells me she plans to turn our mutual crisscross into a double cross. Silas, we don't have the means of transporting it right now. We'll have to cut and run. Open her up. <laughs> I'm gonna get you out. <laughs> Jack, the robots are real? 
I beat your deadline! Afraid not, Jack. The task wasn't for you to find your mother by midnight. You had to rescue her. And time's up. Now. Take a seat, sit back, and enjoy the horror show. Make haste, gentlemen. And don't worry about making a mess. You know, Jack, she's your mom. Why should I have all the fun? So you get to choose agonizing or excruciating. No! No! Jack, your mother wants to know. Don't leave her dangling. You monster! Stop this! We only have time to take one part. Go straight for the heart. Let's go! Let's go, <laughs> Let her go. No matter the outcome, the spoils will be ours. Well, Jack. If you won't decide, I guess it's lady's choice. Oh, man. Mom, I'm sorry. No! Jack, your motorcycle? I can explain, Mom. Wait, I already did. Let's go, RC! Let's go! Mech lost breakdown. What were the odds they could hold on to you? Hang on, June. Let us go. We, we won't tell anyone. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Agent Fowler. If I'd known cons were involved, I would have called in prime. That might have been too much for Mom to handle in one night. Let's go, man. Oh, my God. Not 
That's how it's done. Genius. Mrs. Darby, I'm Special Agent William Fowler. It's time you knew the truth. For the past several months, Jack has been interning for me at the agency. Agent Fowler, Mom's not gonna buy it. He's got that right. Agent Fowler. Let me guess, without a trace. Ah. And she would be your... Motorcycle, guardian, Autobot, friend. Yeah. Call me RC. Thank you, RC. I think it's time for that ride you once made me promise. Let's... <laughs> Science Fiction Club. <laughs> oh my god, guys, this show is getting so intense. Holy smokes. I mean, Merc right now is in this whole series now. They're they're contributing so much. They're causing so many uh, problems to the the Autobots, pretty much. Um, it's crazy. Arachnid's still in the series, too. She finally shapeshifts into a helicopter. Amazing stuff, because it, it always just makes me think that they have multiple transformations. They could also transform into animals or insects, depending on which planet or what they see as, like, dominating or, or a way to get away. So... That whole transformation was crazy. Um, geez, uh, more people finding out about Transformers existing. It opens up the world a little bit, but I want the world to kind of stay maintained within like the Merc, the Autobots, and the Decepticons. And then the humans are there alongside the, the Autobots. I really like that, that dynamic that they have on the show. Just a lot of stuff is happening, and I'm here for it. It's getting really crazy. It's getting really, um... A lot of stuff is happening. We're past the introduction point of introducing all these different factions. Now they're going to war amongst each other. So, it's great to be a part of it. A lot of stuff is happening. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, because it helps the channel and the video grow a lot. But I'm gonna wrap it up, so take care of yourself. Stay safe. Because it is a crazy world. It's 2022. It's a crazy world. And there are a lot of crazy people. But most importantly, guys, you already know by now. Peace.